Why are powerful lights so useful for your video work? There are plenty of options these days for cost-effective lighting units that have numerous functions and are powerful enough to suit many situations. And you can achieve a lot on a budget with some planning and practice. So why would you pay $1,500 or £2,000 for a simple, hard light source? In this video, and its subsequent parts, we'll take a look at some shots we lit using the Nanlite Forza 500, an extremely powerful LED lighting unit, along with the Nanlite FL20 Fresnel lens. And why using a light and lens like this can be extremely beneficial for your video work. So in this shot, we have our subject, lit by soft window light on an overcast day. We've exposed for the natural light in the scene, and our shadows are being filled in a little as a byproduct of the light bouncing around the room. We want to have a look at the kind of light output we can achieve with our Forza 500. But what would be a somewhat logical way to test the power of our light here? It's all good just blasting it full power into the room, but we need a good reason to blast it full power into the room, for it to look natural. So we already have our natural light from the overcast daylight, and it's pretty heavily overcast. The colour temperature of the light already coming into the room is going to be pretty cool on the Kelvin scale. When skies are heavily overcast with cloud cover, the light cast can approach a similar colour temperature as shade on a sunny day. Our Forza 500 is daylight balanced at 5600 Kelvin which means that firing the Forza through the window, combined with our cooler, overcast light, is going to be a relatively accurate representation of the sun shining through the window on a clear day. If we want to achieve the brightest output possible from the Forza, we're going to want to use the FL20 Fresnel lens. Where a bare bulb scatters light everywhere, wasting a lot of a light's output. A Fresnel lens concentrates the light into a narrower beam, utilising the light's full output, throwing the light across a much further distance, and giving you more overall control over where the light goes. The FL20 allows you to control the spread of the beam from a 45 degree flood to a 10 degree spot. Let's place our Forza 500 outside the room, across the garden, and attach our Fresnel lens, set to a narrow beam angle. We'll put the light in a relatively low position to represent a sunset or sunrise. So we've retained the same exposure in camera that we had for the overcast daylight coming through the window. This gives you a good idea of the kind of power you can get from this light when competing with overcast weather. Let's bring our exposure down to balance for our artificial sunlight. This looks great, but to me, it looks a little bit off. What we've overlooked here is the relationship between our light positioning and colour temperatures. Our Forza 500 is representing the sun at 5600 Kelvin. But the light itself is placed relatively low down to replicate the position of the sun at sunset. Midday sun may be balanced at 5600 Kelvin, but sunset tends to be around 2000 to 3000 Kelvin, which is much warmer. So there's a discrepancy between where we place the light and the light's colour temperature. To fix this, 
we would need to add a gel in front of the light to convert the colour temperature down to a more appropriate Kelvin. But here, we'll just warm up the image a little in post. This is looking a lot more natural now, like evening sunlight is streaming into the room. Because we have so much light output, we've been able to use the overcast ambient light from the sky as a natural looking fill light. Being able to actually underexpose the skylight, while still having our own source of light, allows us far more control over our image, as we can then tweak the power output on the light, allowing for more or less fill light from the sky, balancing out our image to where we need it. Another huge advantage of both power output and the Fresnel lens is the fact that we could place the light a good distance away from the window, spotted into the particular area that we needed the light. We get the full output of the light, and because the light is further away, we get these shadow patterns from the window panes and net curtains, breaking it all up a little, allowing the light to be less flat and more interesting. And real sunlight is a small, hard source from far away, which is what we've replicated here. With a less powerful light, and without a Fresnel, we'd need to bring it much closer in, and control the spread with something like barn doors, wasting output, and making it more difficult to break up the light with patterned shadows, without taking up space in the room, making it more difficult to shoot and move our subject around if we needed to. With a less powerful light, it would also be a struggle to compete against the already existing natural light, meaning we'd end up needing to black out the rest of the windows, or shoot at night, and then adding our own fill light in, which would be more gear to think about and potentially more space lost. With a powerful light, we can choose to take advantage of an overcast day, keeping our light out of the way and making for a much simpler, straightforward setup. Before we take a look at how we use the power of the Forza 500 to light the intro clip, don't forget that you can grab my 21 minute colour grading tutorial from my website, detailing the process of grading two cinematic looks in DaVinci Resolve for just eight pounds, along with free practice DNG files so you can grade along with the video. Since I've made the move to Zyro, you can now download the full quality tutorial straight from my website. An e-commerce plan from Zyro enables you to upload and sell digital products up to 25 gigabytes in size, which is amazing if you're looking at selling digital products online and you're worried about being limited by upload size. If you also sell on Facebook, Instagram, or Amazon, you get the tools to manage this all in one place. Building an online store with Zyro is extremely easy and online commerce has been an especially important part of many freelancers and small business owners' income this past year, in and out of the creative industry. Online commerce has personally helped me massively this last year, and an online store can be a valuable asset for anyone. Zyro has been the easiest site builder that I've used to build a website and storefront. Coming from someone who has no clue about web design, Zyro has allowed me the freedom to make a fully customizable site and store using an easy and intuitive drag and drop system. And everything is quick to load when browsing. From a business perspective, trying to attract clients with your portfolio or when selling products, you want your site to load fast, not only to increase sales, but to help you rank better on search engines. With it being the new year, 
It might be one of the best times to get that website or even storefront that you've been thinking about making set up. Click on the link in the video description or use the code Rob Ellis and you can get up to 89% off with my new year deal for a limited time on Zyro's one year, two year and four year premium plans along with a free domain for a year. So for our little nighttime intro scene, we actually utilized daylight along with the Forza 500 to light the clips. The way we did this was actually really simple. We had the Forza hidden high up on a boom arm at the back of our small shed with the Fresnel lens attached at a relatively wide spread. At full output, the light was powerful enough to expose brighter than our overcast daylight. We used some CTO gel in front of the light to represent the correct colour temperature of indoor lighting. And in post, we graded the image down and cooled off our daylight to represent a nighttime look. Because of the power of the Forza, we were able to utilise the natural ambient light as part of our lighting setup underexposing the light from the sky and keeping the light from our Forza nice and bright. Imagine we were actually lighting this at night. To get the same effect, we would likely want to fly a huge softbox or balloon above the garden for our ambient skylight. And although this would make for a little less work in the colour grade, we really don't have that kind of budget but we can budget for a powerful light. And utilising that power, replacing a huge overhead softbox with a natural overhead softbox, we made this work. The shot of our subject stood in front of the shed, was lit and graded in the same way. With our Forza 500 hiding high up at the back of the shed, the doorway cut our light at both sides and made for this nice shape across the garden. And the long shadow from our subject with the Fresnel lens helping to throw the light further out. We lit the shadow of the shed doors on the ceiling in a similar way, utilising the ambient light from outside as fill light, giving a base exposure to the room. With our Forza down low in the garden, shooting up onto the bedroom ceiling in a narrower beam with the Fresnel lens. For the shot of the subject lying in bed, we simply used the overcast natural light as a soft directional light through the window, graded down and pushed cooler to represent the nighttime ambience. Hopefully this video has given you some initial ideas on why you might use a powerful light and how you can use a lighting unit like the Forza 500 to your advantage. We're going to be exploring this topic over some future videos, expanding on these ideas, as well as looking at other ways we can use powerful lights in our work. Grab my 21 minute colour grading tutorial at robelliscinematography.com forward slash downloads for just £8 and get up to 89% on yearly plans for your website with my Zyro New Year deal for a limited time using the link in the description or by using the code robellis.